Good morning, kids. So today we're going to talk about remote learning. We are going back to online schooling for next semester. So we will be having our class via a Zoom meeting. This is what it'll look like. Everybody will be on the same screen. Make sure to have your microphones muted unless you're speaking and make sure to have your volume up so you can hear what we're saying. Does anybody want to share what they know about remote learning? Well, my mom has a calendar right near our computer that shows which classes I need to do each hour, when our assignments are due, and at what time we should be doing each thing. And when we're finished with them, we check them off to show that we're done, and it's great. It feels like we accomplished something. <laughs> Great job, Gabby. Keeping a schedule is very important and it will help keep you organized and stay on top of your assignments so you don't miss anything. Would anybody else like to share? My dad has a desk set up for me with all of my books ready to go so I don't miss any of my classes the next day. Good job, Molly. Keeping your supplies nearby is very good. That way you won't have to interrupt our class so if you need something. Make sure you have a set spot for all of your stuff so you don't lose anything, okay? But my mom and dad say I don't pay attention, that I get distracted easily. So they take away the tablet, and my mom won't let me play games on her cell phone, and I just want to play Fortnite and Minecraft and Roblox, and they won't let me have any fun. None at all. I just have to do schoolwork all day. But yeah, no video games, no tablet, nothing. Good job, Autumn. Yep, it's kind of like school. You don't get to play with your electronics while you're doing your classwork because they can be very distracting. So a good thing to do might be to put it in another room or to make sure wherever your study space is set up, it's not around any of your electronics. And make sure your phones and your parents' phones aren't nearby either. My mom says we learn better in chunks. So she sets an alarm and then when that alarm goes off after we finish our schoolwork, we go outside and ride our bikes and play Fortnite and do all the fun stuff and then the alarms go off again and we have to go back to school. <laughs> but it's so fun when we have breaks. Yes, Gabby, we do learn better in chunks. That's very good. So class, what we're going to do is just do a little bit of recap because we don't know how long we'll be doing this remote learning for and I want you all to be successful. So we talked about keeping a schedule. Make sure you know what class you're in, what assignments are due. Keep up with your readings, that's very important. <clears throat> Make sure you have your supplies nearby so you don't have to stop your class and you can get done what you need to get done. Let your parents know if there's something you uh, don't have that you need. Okay, and then we have our little electronics up here because Autumn, remember, we like to avoid distractions while we're doing our classwork, okay? So make sure they're not near you while you're doing your schoolwork so you can get it done. This is a picture of what class is gonna look like from now on. Remember about your microphone and your volume, okay? And Gabby, you made a great point about play. We want to take breaks and make sure you don't get so tired from staying at the screen all the time. So make sure you go outside, 